I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 23rd day of December, Christmas Eve Eve. And a major storm knocking on the door that's going to bring inclement weather to much of the country. So if you're traveling uh, right here before Christmas, uh, be aware. Let's take a look and see what we've got. First off this morning, we are in good shape. That's the Birmingham Sky Cam. Temperatures well above freezing with a south wind and clouds now. That's looking south from the uh, Daniel Building. Downtown Jasper, that's the view there from the King Building. And down in Lee County, always a nice shot there from Opelika. Boy, what a storm. Uh, classic system coming out of the southwest. Uh, we'll have big snows in the cold sector, big rains, maybe some strong storms in the warm sector. And let's kind of get down to the nitty-gritty. First off, the numbers this morning, it's uh, cooler on the eastern side of the state where the clouds are thin. We've got low 40s over there. Uh, Tuscaloosa with 51 with clouds and a pretty decent south wind. The rain is west of the state this morning. It is raining over the Mississippi Delta and parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, eastern Texas, and they could see some active storms out there. And yeah, buddy, you talk about a mess. If you're traveling, there you go. Pick your destination, and hopefully uh, your spot is not illuminated there with some kind of color. We've got flash flood watches up now uh, from Shreveport all the way to Chicago. We note the Weather Service in Huntsville has posted a flash flood watch for their counties up in the Tennessee Valley. And, of course, back in the cold air, winter storm warnings up. Uh, from the Texas Panhandle and Kansas all the way up to the uh, Dakotas and Minnesota and Wisconsin. And the uh, winter weather advisories for the Rockies as well. Let's deal with the convection first. This is the day one convective outlook for uh, today and tonight. A slight risk of severe weather. That is the standard risk. Uh, through much of East Texas, East Oklahoma, and the western parts of Louisiana and Arkansas. Tomorrow for Christmas Eve, got a risk of severe weather uh, that has uh, expanded a bit across much of Louisiana and the southern two-thirds of Mississippi and southwest Alabama. Uh, there are low-end probabilities as far north as Tuscaloosa and uh, Clanton, but the instability values are seriously lacking tomorrow night, so uh, no doubt any Really organized severe weather should stay way down south. And on the uh, cold side, there's the uh, day one snow outlook. This is today. Heaviest snow is going to be in that red band. Day two, Christmas Eve. Are you dreaming of a white Christmas? Well, you'll sure have one up there. Uh, from near Tulsa to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Duluth, Minnesota. That's the axis of the main precipitation. And uh, this is Christmas Day, Friday. Still snowing up north over a pretty good chunk of the upper Midwest and the High Plains. Here's the overall precipitation for the next five days. Valid through Sunday evening. Uh, this is suggesting one to two inches of rain for much of our state. And, of course, that will be tomorrow and tomorrow night. And uh, just kind of messy for the whole eastern two-thirds of the country. Here's the uh, GFS, the 06Z run, valid at uh, noon today at 500 millibars. Big trough out west. Down below, the surface low beginning to organize in West Texas. Tomorrow, look at the trough going negative tilt. And again, if we had instability, that would be a big severe weather problem. It could be for the Gulf Coast down there, the southeast parishes of Louisiana and south Mississippi. And look at that. Surface low is located near Fort Smith, Arkansas, well under 1,000 millibars. Heaviest rain during the day tomorrow stays west, but we could see, no doubt, a few showers, but the rain should move in here tomorrow afternoon. And there's tomorrow night at midnight. That's when uh, things really crank up. Surface low is located not too far from Kansas City with a big batch of storms down in here. Instability, we don't have any. This is valid at uh, uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. No surface-based cape. That's good. Because, again, we don't like severe weather outbreaks on Christmas Eve. But, yeah, helicity off the chart. This is the veering of the wind in the lowest one kilometer of the atmosphere. So you can see we'd be in real trouble if we did have an unstable air mass. But, again, severe weather, marginal, heavy rain. Yeah, we'll have some good rain from this thing. And then Christmas Day, very cold-looking vortex setting up northwest of the state. Uh, and, again, it's going to be a sharply colder day. Could be a day with falling temperatures. All depends on the timing of the front. It uh, looks like the NAM tries to keep us around 40 all day with the cold air coming in quickly, and that might be right. We'll fine-tune that. Whatever, it's going to be a cloudy, cold, and, and breezy day Christmas Day. Uh, temperatures falling into the low 40s, or we just stay there all day. And then uh, Saturday, cold and dry. Uh, maybe a few peaks of sun. 
And Sunday, cold and dry. Highs only in the 40 to 45 degree range. So cold weather is the story for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, next week, let's take a look. Monday, we stay dry. Tuesday, we're dry. Here comes our new wave. And Wednesday, surface low in the Gulf. Uh, this run a little warmer that would suggest all rain. And typically with those things on the northern flank, somebody gets snow or ice. And uh, we are not confident enough in trying to pin that down yet for sure. That's still seven days out there. Confidence in the event is good. A midweek system next week in the Gulf. Will it be all rain? Will there be some wintry weather? We'll fine-tune that and make the call uh, late Sunday or Monday of next week. And then uh, Christmas Eve gets cold. Boy, look at the cold air covering much of the country. Did I say Christmas Eve? I meant New Year's Eve. And on New Year's Day, it is cold on January 1, 2010. Um, uh, we wouldn't get out of the 30s if that's right. On the 2nd, we're dry, and here comes the next system on the 3rd. A little snowy look there for North Alabama. You can see we get these things every four days or so. Multiple opportunities for winter weather mischief. And then on the 6th, here comes another one. So as we have discussed here many times, it looks awfully interesting in coming weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.